probably some drifter. Not worth dragging me out here. Supposed to guard the camp, not wander around jerking Joni? off. Could have been rippers. Oh, against the two of us. Joni. Really? We could get him before they. Joni. No, 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 no. Oh, what See, did I do that's to what you? we thought too. Uh, me and this guy, Addy's brother, we, we went out there. on patrol. Uh, we were not far from here. Really. We kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was out. We know rippers love the night. We heard him coming first. Shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. Sound. There, there were maybe. <laughs> gotcha! Spotted. Let's go back. There's nothing here. You heard the bike, same as me. Cold as I'm fuck out here. Ripped, not worth dragging me out here. We're supposed to guard the camp, not wander around jerking off. Could have been rippers. Oh, against the two of us. Really? We could get them before they... No, 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 no. See, that's what we thought, too. Uh, me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. Uh, you know, not far from here. We kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was out. And you know rippers love the night. We heard them coming first. Shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. God, that sound. There, there were maybe four we could see, so we open up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him, and I fired. You fired? Yeah, I killed them. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better have backup. What the hell was that? Help? Something's here. What'd you find? I know something's out here. Anything? Hey, that was a rock. <laughs> Wait, was that a rock? Someone's here. You see anything? Nice and boring guard duty. The way it should be. What are you gonna do later? I'm gonna try to get some sleep, that's what. That girl, Lisa, whatever, the new one, she cries all the damn time. First few days, she kept me up all night. What's her deal? She just came in from the shit. What do you want? Shit. Yeah. Even money? We kick her to the curb before her it out. What? Iron Mike won't go for that. He doesn't pay that much attention. Does he even know she's here? I think she's hard to miss. She does cry all the time. She has been quiet lately. Soon she's she here. But that wasn't gonna help. Yeah, actually, I haven't seen her in a while. What the hell? What's 
Who was that? Something's wrong here. Crazy-ass lunatics who got themselves. Hey. Oh, hey. How can you trust anything like that? Anything? That's debatable. Schizo's right. The only thing these assholes understand is force. We sign a peace treaty like we're the goddamn UN. We show them we're weak. Something's here. The hell? Something's out here. Who is that? Oh shit. Iron Mike. Schizo. Son of a bitch. Joe's got scars all around his head. Like they were trying to scout him. Raymond? And the men we buried? They What's were up? Hey there. It took us three hours to raise up all the body parts. <laughs> Someone's here. And what about the next one? And the next? Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Pioneer. Heard something. What? They're moving up. I saw something. What's wrong? Something's out here. Yeah. Huh? Hey! Something's here. You see anything? What's up? Yeah. Who was that? Something's moving. <laughs> Something's here. There it is. Just gotta find a way inside. Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going to get Oh, man. I'm just curious. I'm some kitchen duty and there's some freaking looking. Why? Just, just great. That did it. Two seconds later. Out comes Addy. And she had a smile on me. That's good. Damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What the hell what are the you hell? doing you in doing? my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you going to shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look. Why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. 
No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like... So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the road camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's the Tumalo to Boss Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Loser? Are you doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. <clears throat> Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not si Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens.
Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Run north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about them doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. Don't you. start with me. So you're the one who brought him in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. You were supposed Ricky to told me you stopped out. running for Tucker. Oh, so what? Sent that you little girl here Addie, instead. So now I I'm sorry I lied to you before about doing runs right for now? Tucker. No. How long you been drifting? Sure. You and Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out, grow some food, come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, 
Got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Listen, I've had to. Sherman's camp. Place is going to be crawling. Hello. Hey, none of my business, but I heard you were back. <laughs> Didn't think that would happen. Let's just say that Iron Mike and I have a understanding. Eh? That's something. Bet Ricky had something to do with it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Hey, hey uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky and, uh... Who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bell. I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? See you later. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll head your way. St. John out. Open up. Hope you got something for us, Tristan. The hell do you want? What can I get you?
come back if you remember what you want. Shit. Whatever. Hey. Hold on. Hello? Is anyone on this channel? Brian, is that you? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's O'Brien. You still know where radio is good. Okay, look. I'm gonna try and help you. Find out about the woman. Sarah Whittaker. Put her on your chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me in that location. Oh, Brian, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There'll be Nero soldiers all around me like before, so don't let them see you. O'Brien oh, out. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. <laughs> Come back later and finish burning out these nests. God damn it, not now! Should do it. Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it.
I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. And where is it? God damn nest. That's gotta be close. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up.
got you. escape. Down here. Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, Dean. You have no idea how bad we need this. No problem. Glad to help. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. Feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper.
Drifter, let him in. No trouble, okay? Me and a couple of guys burned out the last few weeks back. You know, freaking this. A female came. Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? 
I'm risking my neck here. If anyone that the back at HQ finds out, uh, those guys with the guns over there, You're they follow orders the without same question. Team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... T- We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name, uh, Sarah, then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole... Time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. <clears throat> There's several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends, and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, over. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it, too. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. What are you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Just don't lose them. Come on now. Can't let him get too far ahead. Better slow him down. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. So you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, How much satellites. Place one of them on their heel. Almost all of these file missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. Brian. Then. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. This just gotta be good. How are you guys doing? Civilian! Hold I on. am not going we to ask you again! Now, can't we? Two 
071. Checking the traps at Site 14 Alpha. Have confirmed a large male subject with a confirmed albinism mutation. The subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third yeah. subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. Before it gets dark. What the hell, O'Brien? Jesus. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. The boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. You okay? They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a. What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill your infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. I'm a small drifter. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, so I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. Something's O'Brien out. You must yeah, leave the area trouble. immediately, or we will open fire! Looks like this all the time. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell what you what's wrong. Your boys oh, were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. What do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Yeah, I got your data. Okay, okay so I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. I heard Brian out. Brian? Oh, Brian! God damn it, he did it again. Uh, oh, Brian, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Oh, wasn't even my turn on the duty. Hello, squatter camp. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. But I I'm having too good of a day, Cope, to let your bullshit spoil it for me. <laughs> 